That's a really good point. That's much more common today. I do a lot of work in, J in Japan with Japanese writers, and that, that's a healthy market right now. I mean, I just wrote a song for an album over there, and the first three days it sold 400,000 copies. Yeah. Like, what is that? That doesn't even happen. And Japan is... When did that happen? This was last year. Wow. Yeah, it was K-pop. It was, you know, Korean yeah. pop, Korean pop song. And, but I had to sign as a publishing deal limited to that area for me for my song to get on the, on the record. And they will not consider anyone that's not signed to their label. As you know, so that exact thing of being with the label that the artist is with, uh, uh, your publishing deal being with the label that the artist is with is a big deal. Hmm. Now, have you seen much of a change on that end as the labels have congealed, so to speak, down to <coughs> the few that are left and the publishing is also now owned by the same people who own everything else? Well, not entirely. Like, you know, uh, like EMI spun its music from it separate from its, uh, you know, EMI and TV and all right. that, you know, so it, it's, it, I don't know, it's, all, it's, it's, uh, it shrunk down, but it shrunk down separate in a way, you know, it's like, we, we, publishing is shrunk, and labels are shrunk, and they aren't necessarily shrunk together. Okay. So, um, and sure, yes. Yeah, and for me to a fault, I, I stayed out of that for so long that I really am not qualified to comment. I don't have any, I really avoided that whole side, I tend to be, I, I got a lot of stuff just by the co-writers I worked with. I've written, I've been very fortunate to write with really great co-writers, and they've got the whole machinery, they've got the manager, the publisher, the sub-publisher, you know. So, and I'm a track guy, so, People like writing with me because we spend three hours, we write a song, they leave, and two days later they check their email and there's this finished record sitting. Oh, I love writing with CJ. I'm like, great, now go sell it. So that's your part. You know. So I've kind of stayed away from that, and if I were to do it over again, I would have been way more hands on and learned to use people's names. You know, like that. Yeah, people like that anymore. Or What's that? They're not there anymore anyway. Yeah, exactly. But it's too late. But it's changed a lot. Yeah. Would you say it's a good idea to get um, an internship at a record label or something as a songwriter? I think anything <laughs> to be around the business is good. Yeah. Right. Because artists are so dumb with business in general. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a genius. I'm just going to write my stuff. People come and find me. You've got to understand the business side more than ever. So More than ever, I think that's really healthy, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'll know right away if that's a good situation or not, yeah. Do you have a position you're thinking about? Or? No, I've just been applying for different, mm -hmm. you know, so. You know, the whole secret to everything here, it just, and it's really life in general, as far as I'm concerned, find great people and just don't let them out of your sight. Just be around them. And, the rest kind of takes care of itself. 